Today we will be looking at the 2000 Amy problem 6. For how many ordered pairs x, y of integers, is it true that 0 is less than x is less than y is less than 10 to the 6, and that the arithmetic mean of x and y is exactly 2 more than their geometric mean? Let's take this by parts. Firstly, it's, we see that they give a bound in the form of an inequality for x and y. Next, we see the problem statement itself, which gives the condition. Let's write this mathematically. Let am be the arithmetic mean of x and y, and gm be their geometric mean. This statement pretty much says that am equals gm plus 2. Writing this more mathematically, we see that the average of x, y, or x plus y divided by 2, is equal to square root x, y plus 2. Square root x, y is their geometric mean, which is instead of adding them and dividing by 2, it's simply flipping all the operations to the multiplication group. Now to make this easier to handle and cancel out this denominator here, let's multiply the entire, in, the entire equality by 2. This, as we wanted, cancels out the denominator and distributes to the right-hand side as well. Simplifying gives us x plus y equals 2 square root xy plus 4. Now, one can see that if we actually move this 2 square root xy to the LHS, or the left-hand side, then it actually forms a perfect square trinomial on the left-hand side. Let's do that. Step by step, we go x plus y minus 2 square root xy equals 4. And simplifying, taking the square root essentially, gives us x minus y each square rooted the entire thing squared equals 4. Now we can square root both sides and take the principal root. This gives us square root y minus square root x equals 2. Now hold on a minute. Some of you might be thinking, hey, why did you switch the x and y? Well, since, well, there are two main reasons for this. One, I can. We can see that, for example, 1 minus 2 squared is equal to 2 minus 1 squared. That's because the square takes away all the negatives. So it's possible to do that and end up with the same result. Secondly, it's more convenient, and that's what the problem statement is telling us to do. In this bound, it actually says that y is greater than x. So, it's better to place the square root y in front because it'll be greater than the square root x. Let's work from here. So far, we have seen that square root y minus square root x equals 2. Now, we focus more on the bound of x and y. x is less than y is less than 10 to the 6. Now, let's rewrite this inequality to a more convenient way, which is rewriting 10 to the 6 as 1,000 squared. Now, we can find the upper bound for y and the lower bound for x to find, basically, the number of ordered pairs. Since x and y are integers, y is at maximum 999. Now, we can find the lower bound for x, which will help us find the total range. Let's focus on x. Since x is 
as it said in the left side, greater than zero, it is at least one. Now, with this, we can find the minimum for y. Since the geometric mean is two less than the arithmetic mean, we can see that y is at least one plus two, which is equal to three. Now, all we have is y inside a range three through 999 inclusive. We can actually see that for every single number in here, there will be an x which satisfies this condition. Now, all that's left is to find the number of elements from 3 through 999 inclusive. This is where some people get tricked because they simply do the subtraction. But the actual operations are 999 minus 3 plus 1 to account for the inclusive. This is just like when you go from 0 to 1, there's actually two elements, not 0. This yields us our final answer of 997 ordered pairs for which the given condition is satisfied.